Happy Friday, everybody. We made it, and it's the weekend, baby. But anyway, your girl is operating off for two hours of sleep. Cause you know what? We've been working on these, getting these shirts off too, you guys. But let me first say, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl Bree Easy, aka Fresh for the Salon, BKA the People's Chimp at. So, I'm tired. I'm tired. Not not tired, but tired. So, operating off for two hours of sleep. Gotta get me some coffee. But today, we're gonna do something fun today. So, we're gonna call this thing, what should we call this? Straight from Bree Easy's Facebook timeline. So, let me show you one of the things that I saw on my Facebook timeline today. Yeah, right there. It was That's not. You I, I'm, tired. I'm tired. I'm <laughs> tired. <laughs> okay, so anyway. So, you know how we talked about taking L's yesterday? So, this was an L. So, this dude says, a crackhead just sold me a 60 inch for $50, right? I am thinking I'm going to hit a lick. I get home and plug it in, and the restaurant menu still on it. I'm pissed the F off, bro. I hate it here. This MF and then sold me the drive through ordering screen. Gots to be more careful. But can I get number five with a Sprite and large fries? Extra crispy. You know? <laughs> but you got to be careful. It's that time of the year and people are going to get you. I, I just, I can't, Hazim Production. I mean, how do you, how, Sway? How? How? Okay. So the second thing that we have, so apparently last night on Thursday Night Football, um, the Bears and the Cowboys really got into it. So unfortunately, the game wasn't the only thing that the Cowboys lost last night. They took two L's. Not one, but two L's. By the Bears. Houseway! Houseway! I'm going to call this the Houseway segment. <laughs> How? So if you're a Cowboys fan, please don't hate me, but you know, I had to do it. That's all I have because I got to go beat my little boy for lunch. But guys, have a great weekend and I think I have one more thing. So, the question of today is what I want you to drop in the comments. Name something you can say during NBA 2K20 and sex. Whew. Hmm. That's good D right there. That's me. I was going to say that. No. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Why would you say that? Because I'm supposed to say I'm. Oh, yeah. You're right. So, what you going to say? I'm out at this point. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this stroke I'm, is amazing. Well, you I was going to say. This stroke is amazing. But no, I was gonna say good D. But that's good D right now. Yeah. Yeah. This stroke is amazing too, though. I I'm out. Yeah, I have a great weekend. Amazing. Pulling from D. Oh my god. <laughs> Get out the chair. Get out the chair. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all go by and check out the child shirt, do all that good stuff, man. And uh, before we get started, let me just say, yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. I don't appreciate y'all trying to get me fired from my own show yesterday by continuously putting in there that Bree Easy has now taken over the show, and now she's the new host. Bree Easy for new hosts, she needs more segments, all that stuff, man. Listen, without me, don't none of this go. I say without me, don't but, none of this go. But behind go you, it's home. what? What? I don't know. What's behind me? A good woman, I guess. Mm, what, what's Push that? <laughs> anyway, bro, look, a couple of things to get into. Not a lot, not a lot, Um, you know, really. Uh, We're going to wait for Bridget to clear off from behind me, and then we're going to oh. go from there. Hey, you have a good one. I'm gone. All right, we're going to holler at you. Hey, look, make sure you check out the, the shirt. The shirt is in the store. Spot you, I will. I keep saying we're going to get Rip City and the Gym Star, the official Gym Star shirt there. If they will be there today. I'm going to put them up personally. Or Bree or Breeze is going to put them up whenever. But check it out. NBA 2K19 had an update, man, and we have the patch notes. Um, it just says NBA 2K19 patch 1.11 stability improvements. And it just says NBA 2K19 really into... Oh, boy. NBA 2K19 received an update 
1.11, you can you can download it on you blah 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 blah. You will find the update. The update is quite small. It's a quite small update as it only mentions stability and general improvements according to various users. Um, only brings in and add and add in the men um, in the main menu. Oh, okay, so it brings in ads into the main menu. You know they're gonna do that. And then uh, for users to purchase their latest title, NBA 2K20. So there's an ad, but they put an ad, they patched in an ad for NBA officially. Official. I'm gonna tell you what they did unofficially. But they officially patched in an ad for NBA 2K20. And I'm gonna tell y'all what that ad pretty much says in one second. It says, okay, this is this is a basketball simulation game, blah, 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 2K visual concept. Improve the, improve the stability of the title in, uh, in addition to a number of general improvements to the, uh, to the user experience. Let me say, are you interested, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look, man, this is what they did. They came into the game and they said, guess what? We patched the VC glitch, and we patched the Demigod glitch. So your ass might as well play 2K20. It ain't but like $5 right now. Hell, you can get it for free. If you spend enough money, look, if you spend enough money on NBA 2K20, I mean 19, and you didn't buy 2K20, they were giving the game out for free because they want more people on the current iteration of the game. They benefit nothing by people playing the previous iteration of the game because they can't push as many advertisements as they want to. So of course they just patched this in and probably say, they probably even say something like Black Friday or something like that, sale, blah, blah, blah. If you, you know, you can buy it straight from Xbox. Uh, let's see, let's see if we go to xbox.com. I'm gonna go to xbox.com and we're gonna put in NBA 2K20, right? And uh, NBA 2K20 for the Xbox right now, $59 if you buy the standard edition. But I'm sure you can go on Amazon or if you wait another week or if you already went and if you already went and you um if you went and you got it on Black Friday, you probably got it for 20 or 30 bucks, man. It's 39 bucks on Amazon right now, 38 on um uh, 38 on uh on the other joint, man. And I'm sure if you if you have if you have Xbox Live, it's probably cheaper than that. Like I said, the biggest thing about all of this, man, is that they want your continued playing of the game. Really, they just want you to be signing into the game every day, and it benefits them nothing if you sign in, if you sign into the old game because that's not where they have the targeted ads. They have the targeted ads on the new game. And so that's why I say people always say, well, we didn't already bought the game, so we can't really fight the system. Yes, you can. If you don't play it, if you don't look, look, if you genuinely don't like the game and you don't play it, then you can't fight the system because their most of their revenue is, is in the advertisement that they do for the game. So they have to get you on the new game. But I know that there has been an influx of players on 2K because the last two, two, two or three days, the park has been extra sweet. Number one, I'm seeing a very, a very big increase in people asking for, you know, new jump shots. What's the best bill? All that. These videos are doing better. And, and it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, we know for 100% sure that this game has changed. I mean, you know, we know for 100% sure that a lot of more people are buying the game and uh, a lot more people are playing it. So it is what it is. But like I said, that's the only way you can hurt them. If you truly don't like the game, I'm enjoying the game. I enjoyed the hell out of the game. We played last night. We went like 76 and two. So I'm enjoying the hell out of the game. And then, bro, some people, and we're not going to talk about people playing you like, literally played 45 times. Dude took 45. How the hell is this possible? I swear to God, on Moses, bro, we played a dude last night. We beat him literally 45 times. And he was a 99 when he walked in the park. And he was a 99 when he walked out. When he got to the 45th L and lost and realized that he couldn't win, he was still a 99. Meanwhile, I won all of these games and I went down to a 97. What is wrong with the game? How the hell? Bro, he must have been playing my career all the way up to Wazoo and his joint must be like 99 and it must be an extra 100 behind that 99. I'm going to try that out, man. I'm going to try to play. I'm going to get my guy to 99.9 and play some more games of my career. Just keep playing my career and see if it'll if I get a buffer uh, for that 99. But that, that, that's crazy. Anyway, up to our next thing, NBA 2K. 
Uh, you know, they, they've, they've released all these logos and let you know everything that they got, man. Seeing any logos around the park. Ronnie 2K was actually saying that he was uh, giving, uh, giving these out. These are not all the logos, but obviously, you know, you got the sports logo. We had a football player in our park last night. This is the streamer logo. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people want to want to bring back the uh, the YouTube and the um, Twitch, you know, logos or whatever. But, hey, it is what it is. Ronnie 2K, this is somebody that's affiliated with 2K. Uh, this is a, somebody that makes music. This is a regular superstar. And then you got a clothing designer or what have you. Like, I haven't seen any of these logos around the park. The only one I saw last night was the, um, the football player. And I didn't even get a chance to see who it was because we were on a streak. And because we were on a streak, you know, you know, you can't really step off when you're on a streak. But that's all good, though. Uh, last but not least, Pretty Boy Fredo is talking about coming back to the 2K community. Um... And, and, and it really just says, it just really says, he just said really straightforward and uh, really straight up. He just says, now to my genuine 2K supporters, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all basically. I mean, I appreciate y'all because y'all gave me the world when I didn't have anything. And if you, and I'm forever grateful for that. But every man must elevate at some point in, in, in their life or you'll be left behind. Doesn't mean I won't play 2K. Or upload and then he says there's a time and a place for everything just wait on it and that's what he's telling people you know he's time and a place for everything just wait on it and then uh, somebody came in and said hey get him out of here coach uh, can we can we make suggest can we make a suggestion to hire Fredo as the community manager uh, we need someone lit now the 2k says I love for anyone from the community to join the crew I know Fredo has elevated his career into great heights since back in the day and I'm proud of him. And that's all you can say to anybody that has elevated themselves. All you can do is say, Godspeed, my brother, keep on going. But at least Fredo is not like a, a lot of the other people and he recognizes that he had his roots in 2K and that that's what got him to where he is. And then you jump off that platform, you take that platform, you ride as far as you can, and then you go on, uh, you know what I'm saying? Then you go on to, to, the, to the next thing. It doesn't work like that in reverse. You're gonna have some YouTubers that are like Agent, where Agent was able to, he's still he's still able to rock with 2K. Cash is still able to rock with 2K, but he's doing uh, IRL videos. Fredo went more of the prank family and, and challenges, you know, thing. Like the last video, like the last video, even though a lot of, like, like, let's be real, if you look at every one of Fredo videos, at the end of it, it's somebody that did the video before him, and they got hella views off of it. And then, you know, he he's doing a remix of whatever they did. Because, like, the last one, they, they uh, Kel and P, uh, they the ones that I've seen that really started. I don't know if they started it, but they're the first ones I ever saw to do the diamond, you know, the diamond challenge or whatever, to, you know, to make sure that your diamonds are real. They're the first ones that I've ever seen. And then, uh, so, you know, then you saw Fredo. He did it with Swag Hollywood and all that. Now, he come back and remix it and makes it even more lit. So he finds something that's lit, come back, remix it, Make it even more lit, just like the hands down, you know, guns down, hands up thing. Like that was somebody, and then to bind somebody, everything. Funny Mike had did that one, and then you know he came back and remixed it. They entertaining as hell, but you know, like I said, once you get on that plateau or get get on that level, that's what you do. And when you really look at the top YouTubers, everybody does the same thing up there. If I'm not mistaken, hell, everybody do the same thing down here. So we know they do the same thing up there. They find something, something that got hella views, and then they go with it. It is what it is. That's smart business, smart marketing. I wish I could do that, so I could get to the point where I can put out one video a week and be straight. But hey, I gotta work my way up the ranks. I gotta keep grinding. I have to put in that work and, and earn that right to be able to do that. So instead of being mad at somebody for leaving the community or anything like that, what you gotta do is say, "Damn, he did it, so I know I can do it." Hats off to him. You just got to find your way. But the thing is, you got to realize that Fredo did everything. Call of Duty, um, you know, 2K, all the games that came out. You know, he was trying to find his way for two or three years, not really getting any views. And then at the beginning of 2K16, he was 40K Fredo. He says it all the time. Then it was 50K Fredo. And then after that, you know, uh, after, after, patch, uh, after uh, January that year, he took off and ain't never looked back. 
but he had to put in those two to two, the, the three to five years of groundwork, getting no views, being depressed as hell. He said it himself, being depressed as hell because you know what you know that your content and your personality is up there with everybody. You know that everybody above you is literally stealing all of your content and all of your stuff, but you can't do anything about it because they're a bigger YouTuber than you, and nobody's gonna believe that that person. Why would he steal from you? And now Fredo is the person. That's up there. You see what I'm saying? Now you that guy that they looking at, and they and they they looking to take you. It, it is what it, it's, it's it's awesome to see somebody elevate themselves. Whether you like the guy or not, man, you can't argue with his formula for success. That that's all I'm really saying, man. It is what it is. And now, oh God, speed to that man, man. Hey, he doing it the right way. And on to some memes. We got a few memes for y'all, man. The first one we got, Scooter Magruder. Check it out. Scooter Magruder talking to Spice Adams. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Scooter is not happy. I say Scooter is not happy. He needs some milk. Your boy Scooter ain't happy. He ain't happy. Know what I'm talking about, Spice? Oh man, if you're a Cowboys fan, I'm sorry, but I'm a Falcons fan and we trash. We extra trash, so you know it is what it is. Up next, did you ever want to do this in 2K? Osama been trapping. He said, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of you just throwing the ball behind your back over and over. I'm just going to fire off on his ass. Ah! Step up. Ah! They all just had it in the game with somebody spamming behind the back, behind screens over and over. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Just fire off. Oh, ah! Just fire off on him. That's what I'm talking about. That should actually be something in the game, but you know, it is what it is. And last but not least, man, before I let y'all get up out of here, we got LeBaron James, man. They say LeBron walking all over the world. Let's take a look, man. So he walking. He done walked all over the galaxy now. He done walked past Baby Yoda. <laughs> I was walking. They got him running with Forrest Gump. <laughs> he walking with SpongeBob. <laughs> and then he walks back and passed the ball, bro. These people with these memes is crazy, man. But that's all I got for y'all today, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Glad, like I said, if Fredo comes back to the community, does a couple of videos, um, then then it'll be cool, man. I mean, it'll be cool to be cool for him. It really won't make a difference to me, but it'll be cool for him just because of the fact that you know, you know, he get to see that his fans are there, and you get the fans what they want because you can never forget about the people who actually made you. But as I tell people all the time, he just transitioned this thing. Because the same kids that elevated him in 2K are the same kids that watch pranks. The same kids that watch um, challenges and all those types of videos. So so that was just a natural progression for his audience, you know, with the, I mean, with the PlayStation prank and all that stuff, man, these are, these are things that are old. The car prank, the uh, Fousey Tube did all this stuff, man, with the car prank and and the, um, you know, the gold digger prank and all this stuff. This is all, the, everything's old, ain't nothing new under the sun, like my mama said, but you know what? If you remix it, and it's not easy because it was easy, everybody would do it, right? He remix it, do it right. Me and my wife watch them joints, they entertaining as hell, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Just because somebody did something, and that's the message for the day, just because somebody did something first, doesn't mean that you don't have the opportunity to remix it, make it yours, and do it better. That's it. So if you see somebody out there doing a certain bill and you feel like you can do it better, do it. Fredo did it, and look at where he at. It works for him, it might work for you. That's it. Remix somebody's idea, make it your own. Don't just steal it, remix it, make it your own. Put your own little stamp on it, your own little swag on it, and you good, just like these shirts. I could just do regular workout shirts, but I'm, I'm remixing them. It's not just Baby Yoda. I remixed it, put my little stamp on it, and boom, there we go. So look, that's what we're going to do right here, man. Y'all take it easy, man. Hope you guys enjoy your Friday, enjoy your weekend. We'll have some more news for y'all tomorrow. And until next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed!